Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Future Friday. I am really excited. We have Ossie Atkinson here with us today, and she is going to be telling us a little bit more about the Essential Yoga Practice book and DVD. So welcome, and thank you so much for joining us this thank morning. Thank you. It is really good to be here. It's kind yeah. of fun. I know. We're really excited for this. I'm excited to get more information on this and kind of pick your brain and see, you know, what the best parts are. I know it's all great, but we'll see. Um, and we do have a giveaway today, right? We do have a giveaway. So yes. I'm really excited for that. But first, um, tell us a little bit about this book, you know, kind of who's it for? So we started, I have a gal on my doTERRA team. Her name is Mona Flynn, and she actually is a trainer of yoga teachers. They have a school back in Greensboro, North Carolina, and she is phenomenal. She was one of my, she was actually my third introduction to yoga, and she just really resonated with me. She has a deep understanding of the body and the spirit and the mind and is so sweet and kind and loving. And as I had my first yoga experience with her, it was very, very restorative, right? Uh -huh. It was really impactful on an emotional level. And she told me that as she was building her doTERRA practice and as she was talking to other colleagues that she had and other yoga instructors and yogis, Nobody really understood the concept of using aroma with essential or with with yeah with using essential oils and yoga together, right? right? And um, because she explained to me that kind of with Western practice yoga, it goes back. Everyone wants to kind of keep their area clear of fragrances, keep it very clean and pure, and create a space where anyone can show up with anything. Right. Plus, they're mindful of allergies or things like that, right? And so she had been looking for something, and it wasn't until she found doTERRA's essential oils that she was super impressed with the quality of oils and how it could actually go along with, with yoga and its sister science, which is Ayurveda. And so we wrote the book with three audiences in mind. First audience is yoga professionals and experienced yogis, right, who would just want to learn a little bit more about essential oils and what kind of quality that they would want to bring into their practice and what they could actually do, how they could introduce this to people. The second audience is, of course, brand. I really like yoga. This is incredible. And we have done a lot of partner work, which has been team building for us. So that's really fun. And we do have a partner sequence in the book that you can use to build team and family. And then the third audience, of course, is for someone who doesn't know anything about either one, right? So it gives a really great introduction of both yoga and essential oils, but it also, we were very careful to include some deeper learning, some more profound um, experiences so that people who already have a, a basic foundation in each can really grow and develop and kind of learn a, a few more applications than they already had. Right. Perfect. I love it. So kind of walk us through like the three sections that are in this book. Um, tell us a little bit more, you know, about, you know, the basics and how somebody would be able to use this in a class or use it for themselves. Perfect. So the very first section is the yoga section. Do you want me to hold it for you so you can talk? Sure. So here we head to okay. the Perfect. section. So the yoga section has information about what yoga is, why it's so beneficial for the body. And one thing that you should know is that this book is 100% compliant. We did work with the compliance department while we were creating it. And um, they allowed us to put in health information about yoga. So what's really great is that we talked about how yoga is beneficial for so many things. There's a lot of science and research that shows that it's phenomenal. So all of that is in there. We also included a dosha assessment, which is part body type, part personality, but gives a lot of great information for ways that you can support your dosha. And so that's something that a yoga instructor could use for their class. It's something that a new yogi could take a look at and find very intriguing and kind of learn maybe what sequences would be good or what intentions would be good. Um, there's also a whole section on chakras, chakra, chakra clearing and strengthening, along with several essential oils and, and different um, other resources that you can use to help with your chakra clearing. And then also gives just a lot of really basic emotional and, and physical strengths. And I am a new yogi, right? I'm, I'm the essential oils part of this book, and, and Mona's definitely the yoga part. 
And as we were as we were going through the book, getting it created, she would talk to me about how important twists were. And I said, okay, you know, because she would write it as if we already knew at the very beginning in some situations. And so I said, okay, explain to me why twists are so important. So she explained to me that when we will twist on a regular basis, like if you're sitting in your office and you're working at the computer, if you'll take, you know, every 15 minutes and do a twist and a twist, you know, all the way over, it actually helps to lengthen your spine. It creates more space for, um, for your nerves and for everything else that needs to travel up the spinal cord. And it just keeps you more heightened and more agile and more healthy because our health is really related to our spine. And I thought, that is amazing. Like everybody should know these little tips and tricks. And so um, as we keep going, I'll, bring, I'll come back to that in a minute. Okay, so, so, that's, okay. so that's the yoga section. Okay. Part two, which is essential oils, gives a lot of great information for anyone who wants to know. And I have a lot of people who talk to more influential people about essential oils and they want to know where's the science and the research, what do essential oils actually do, what does the quality mean. So we wrote this whole section in a brand non-specific way so that anyone can use it, but we do give a checklist inside of things that someone would want to consider about the oils that they use and it all leads back to doTERRA, right? right. It's super clear. And so people have had a lot of, a, a lot of good experience as they've read that section with that introduction to essential oils, thinking, okay, so my oils do this and this and this, and we explain very clearly why it's so important. I'm a quality girl, right? I've used oils for, for I had used them for 13 years before I got into doTERRA. Wow. So I tried lots of different brands, had lots of different experiences, and I am a brand girl, right? So I want people to be able to see these are the things you're looking for in order to have a great yoga experience. <coughs> And then, Ooh. oops, so I just put that in as a, yeah, as no a placeholder. Worries. So no the worries. last section right here, the essential yoga sequences, we have six original sequences in the back of the book that are paired with specific essential oils that have um, emotional significance and physical significance. And with each of the sequences, we have, these are the oils to use topically, these are the oils to use, um, in a diffuser, these are the oils to use internally with some of them, like the detox sequence. And so you can go through and find which sequence is a fit for you. There's one that is the morning sequence that starts with a sun salute and helps you just really prepare for the day and get grounded and centered. There's one that's a detox, which helps to kind of flush the negative out if you're feeling stuck or, <clears throat> or if um, things aren't going so maybe you're not feeling so well, it's a great one to do. There's one that's a partner sequence, which we specifically put in there because I have two boys and Mona was talking to me about the powerful ways that you can connect with your children. And so that one was, we, we put that in for all of the moms who want something to, to connect with kids when they get home from school or before bed. And what's cool is a lot of these poses in here can be standalone poses that you do. So for example, you'll see one in the book called Legs in the Chair, where that person is laying on their back with their legs in a 90 degree angle and in the chair. And if you lay in that position, kids will start opening up, they'll talk, they'll relax. It's a great one to do before bed. And it's also a really nice area where you have their feet available that you can put uh, put oils on, on them. I'm just showing them a little bit of what is in, the, <laughs> in here. So one thing that's really cool with the yoga sequences section is that with every single pose in the sequence, we give a really great description of what it is, mechanically what your body should be doing, things to think about for alignment's sake, and also the intention of that pose and why that would be in place there. Right. <clears throat> and then, I'll just grab this here. Yeah, go for it. At the end of each section, there is an at-a-glance, right? So once you've read through the basics, you can utilize this so that it, it just makes it really fluid and nice and all in one spot so you're not having to turn pages and whatnot. And that brings us to the DVD, which the DVD is simply the mechanical run through of all of the yoga sequences. So if you're doing it at home, you can just run through and, and you understand what's going on. So I love that I know what's behind all of these poses and I love that I know what the oils are. So they do really go hand in hand. You need the book in order to tell you which oils, how to apply, 
what to do. And of course, we know that there are alternates we can use too, depending on our mood or our intention. And that's something that we will talk about in our doTERRA blog or on the Facebook page or things like that. Perfect. Thank you. I think you just convinced me to buy this book. <laughs> I know it was cool, but I was like, there's what in here? Um, this oh. is so cool. So tell us, um, I know we're doing a giveaway today. Um, so tell us a little bit about that. Like, All right. So the giveaway is we are super excited because we have a few really fun things planned out, especially um, when we were at convention with the book launch, met so many different yoga instructors who were super intrigued. And what we found is that yoga instructors actually, there's, there's a shift going on and they want to bring essential oils into their practice. A lot of them are just unsure exactly how to go about it. What are the steps? How do I teach my students what's happening? You know, how do we kind of make this transition into being able to use fragrances where it's been taboo for a while? And so we're actually starting an affiliate program for yoga professionals, right? Where they can collaborate, creating a space for that, which is really exciting. Is really cool. And we've got some great introductory things coming out in March and things that will be coming out as we go. But the foundation of all of that is the book. We call this kind of like the textbook. It's the basis so that everybody starts on the same page. We've all got a reference. We can refer back to something with a lot of information. And so we are building are following on our blog. So if you go to essentialyogapractice.com, you can sign up for our blog there and you get a free gift um, that will come as a digital gift when you do that. Also, if you will follow us on our Facebook page, Essential Yoga Practice, if you do both of those things today, we are going to announce a winner tonight and we'll be giving away a free DVD. Just wow. random from out of all of the people who will sign up on the blog and the Facebook page. So you have two chances to win if you go to both spots. That is so cool. Okay, so go ahead and do that, and we'll tag the Facebook page in the description of this video so that you guys can go check it out and see what that is there. Fantastic. We'll put the link there as well to the oh, blog. Oh, fantastic. Perfect. Yeah. Excellent. Um, thank you so much for joining us for Feature Friday. If you missed the first part, go back and watch it when this video is done being live. Um, and just for your reference, it's the Essential Yoga Practice book. You can search it on our website and it'll be there as well as the DVD. But like Austi said, if you go um, like the Facebook page and then subscribe to the blog, you can get a free DVD, possibly. Yes, so you'll be in the drawing, definitely. And we'll announce that tonight. Okay, so make sure you do it before tonight. But we're really excited. Thank you so much for coming and teaching us all about this. And hopefully, um, I think I'm going to look more into this. <laughs> Thanks you know. for having me. It's yeah. good to be here. I hope you really guys fun. love it as much as we do. We It's just a gift from the heart. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Perfect. We love it. Okay. Well, you guys have a fantastic rest of your weekend, and we will see you on Tuesday.